Most people think that man-made structures like high-rise buildings and dams are static objects. We build them and walk away. But in reality, they shift, they move, and most importantly, they age. Welcome to my office. Hi, I'm Chris Topham, and I'm the Dam Safety Manager for Hydro Tasmania. Hydro Tasmania has one of the largest dam portfolios in the country, including 65 major structures around the state of Tasmania. We have a program that constantly monitors these structures, and occasionally we make a decision to upgrade one of our dams to uh, modern engineering standards, which is what we're doing here at Rowallan Dam. Rowallan Dam was completed in 1968 and is one of seven dams that make up Hydro Tasmania's Merseyforth power development in northern Tasmania. Lake Rowallan is the development's main water storage, feeding six other dams and eight power stations, which together produce around 16% of Hydro Tasmania's power production. Rowallan Dam is an earth and rock fill embankment and a common feature of these types of embankments is seepage. Seepage through a, a dam core is an, an entirely normal part of the behaviour of a, of a dam and comprises water basically seeping through the little gaps in between the particles that comprise the core of the dam. So the core remains intact and the water just seeps through it very, very slowly. Well, this is a seepage weir at the toe of the dam and it collects and allows us to monitor any water that seeps through the dam. We monitor this daily and it's an entirely normal flow for a dam of this size and type. In 1969, we had a, a leakage develop on the right-hand side of the embankment. We repaired that leakage at the time and we've been monitoring that very closely ever since. Hydro Tasmania has a 10-year asset management plan that looks at all our asset types across the state. Within that, there's a dam safety program that monitors our structures and assesses the structures to make sure that they're safe and fit for purpose. These spillway walls are essentially designed like an earth retaining wall that you might have in your backyard. And they're just not quite beefy enough to withstand all the load that the embankments can place on them. These measuring plates are one way that we can monitor the movement of the wall panels. And as you can see, this panel has moved about 50 millimetres relative to its next door panel. These walls were designed to the standards of the day in the 1960s. Whilst they are safe, they have suffered a little bit of movement and our job here this summer is to come into the spillway and rebuild the walls to make sure that they will last for the next 100 years. Brian Dawes is the project manager. He oversees all construction on site. So where's the crane going to be in the spillway? The crane's going to be in through here, Tom. What's happening behind me at the moment is we have some machinery up on the base of the spillway. They're in the process of levelling off a nice foundation, so when we bring a 25 and 100 tonne crane in here in the coming weeks, they've got a nice level area to work on. She's nearly 50 years old, so it's time to give her a facelift. Step one involves drilling steel anchors into the base of the dam. This prevents the concrete from moving. Down on the wire, thank God, it's Step two involves building a concrete toe at the base of each of the walls. Step three, construction of the new vertical walls using reinforced concrete from the toe to the top of the existing spillway walls. As you can see here, the existing walls are about 300 mils thick at the bottom. The new walls, which we're constructing to replace the existing, are about twice as thick, so they're about 600 mils thick. As we go further up the spillway, as the height of the walls increase, the thickness of the walls also increase for additional strength. So after our campaign of work here this summer, we'll take a year off from work at Row Allen Dam to address some other priorities within the 10-year asset management plan. And we'll be back in 2014 to complete this phase of the work on Row Allen Dam. It's, it's easy to look back with hindsight and say they could have done it better, but I don't think we could have done it any better.